The ADDIE model is an instructional design framework used in the context of human resources management to develop effective learning and development programs. It stands for Analyze, Design, Develop, Implement, and Evaluate, representing the five stages of the learning development process. The model provides a structured and organized approach to creating learning content, whether for online or offline training programs, presentations, coaching sessions, or other forms of learning interventions. ADDIE stands for Analyze, Design, Develop, Implement, Evaluate, Advantages and Disadvantages of the ADDIE Model. Advantages, Adaptability. The ADDIE model can be customized and adapted for various industries, disciplines, and learning environments, making it versatile and applicable across different scenarios. Consistency. The structured approach of the ADDIE model enhances efficiency and maintains consistent quality in course development. Iteration opportunities. Being an iterative model, ADDIE allows for ongoing feedback and revisions at each stage, ensuring that the final product aligns with desired learning objectives. Evaluation component. The model incorporates evaluation mechanisms that enable organizations to measure the effectiveness of instructional content, facilitating continuous improvement. Disadvantages. Linear process? The ADDIE model follows a linear process, which might not be suitable for addressing complex and evolving learning needs that require more flexibility and creativity. Resource intensive. The model's comprehensive approach can be time-consuming and resource-intensive, potentially challenging for smaller organizations with limited resources. Lack of user experience focus. In the era of prioritizing user experience, the ADDIE model might not adequately address the importance of engaging and user-friendly learning experiences. The five phases of the ADDIE model. 1. Analyze. Problem identification, identify the learning or performance problem that needs to be addressed. Training needs analysis, determine the specific gaps in knowledge, skills, or behaviors that require training. Learning goals, set clear and measurable learning objectives aligned with the identified needs. Target audience, define the characteristics and demographics of the learners. Stakeholder needs, Understand the expectations and requirements of stakeholders. Resource mapping. Identify the resources needed for the training program. 2. Design. Learning intervention outline. Develop an outline that details the content, structure, and flow of the training program. Evaluation methods. Determine the methods and criteria for assessing the effectiveness of the training. Communication strategy. Create a plan for communicating the training program to the learners and stakeholders. Alignment. Ensure that the training program aligns with stakeholder expectations and learning objectives. 3. Develop. Delivery method. Decide how the training will be delivered, in person, online, blended. Content creation. Develop the learning materials, visuals, and interactive elements required for the training. Instructional strategies, design the methods and approaches for delivering the content effectively. Quality evaluation, review and refine the content to ensure accuracy and engagement. Assessments and tools, develop assessment methods and tools to measure learners' progress. 4. Implement. Training delivery, conduct the training sessions, either in person or online. Logistics, Manage the logistics, scheduling, and technical aspects of training delivery. Communication plan. Execute the communication strategy to inform and engage learners. Formal evaluation. Begin collecting data for formal evaluation and feedback. 5. Evaluate. Ongoing evaluation. Continuously gather feedback from learners and stakeholders throughout the training program. Post-assessments. Conduct assessments after training to measure learning outcomes. Analysis and improvement. Analyze the assessment results to identify areas of improvement. Stakeholder satisfaction. 
seek feedback from stakeholders about their satisfaction with the training program. Adjustments, incorporate feedback and make necessary adjustments for future iterations. The ADDIE model examples. Training for sales representatives, this training program focuses on improving sales skills through role-playing and engaging visuals. The ADDIE model helps identify training needs, design content, develop interactive elements, deliver training, and assess its impact on sales performance. Public speaking and presentations training, this program enhances public speaking skills by incorporating in-person practice sessions and theory instruction. The ADDIE model aids in analyzing the need for training, designing engaging content, developing interactive exercises, implementing the training, and evaluating its effectiveness. Rapid Instructional Design Rapid Instructional Design is a quicker and more flexible way to create training programs. It borrows ideas from speedy software development and applies them to training creation. It's like a step-by-step -step process where you keep adding and checking until the training is done. The goal is to make a small version of the training, a proof of concept, and let learners or people involved try it out and give feedback. Then you use that feedback to make the next version of the training better. This process has five steps. Defining, start by deciding what you want people to learn and need for the training. Testing, quickly create a small version of the training to see how it works. Checking, get feedback from people who tried the small version and use their ideas to make it better. Applying, use the improved ideas in a newer version of the training. Repeating, keep going through steps 2 to 4 until the training does what it's supposed to do. This way of designing things follows the try, learn, and improve idea, which is used in a smart way of working called lean methodology. The image below shows how it works. The small versions of the training, prototypes, are made quickly and matched with the plans and goals of the project. Sometimes, a part needs to be tried and changed several times before moving to the next step, just like trying different outfits before deciding on one. As an example, think about a training project for HR, human resources, skills. It's a mix of online learning and monthly sessions that match what learners need. These sessions give learners a boost to finish the online part, and they also get things to do that are related to real work problems. These things change as the needs change. So, it's like employees learn and solve problems at the same time, which helps them use what they learned and helps the business grow. Unveiling Excellence, Real Scenarios Illuminating the ADDIE Model Example 1, Onboarding Program for New Employees Analyze In a company, the HR department identifies that new employees often struggle to quickly adapt to their roles. The problem is poor onboarding, causing a lack of understanding about the company culture and processes. Design the HR team designs an onboarding program using the ADI model. They outline the content and structure of the program, including presentations, videos, and interactive activities. They define learning objectives like understanding company values and learning basic processes. Develop. Based on the design, they create materials such as welcome videos, a company handbook, and interactive e-learning modules. They choose a blended approach, with online modules and in-person orientation sessions. Implement. New employees go through the onboarding program, attending orientation sessions and completing online modules. The HR team monitors progress and provides support. Evaluate. After the onboarding, the HR team collects feedback from new employees through surveys and observes their performance. They compare how well the employees are adapting to their roles compared to before the program. Example 2, Leadership Training Workshop. Analyze. A company identifies a need for improved leadership skills among its managers. Many have technical expertise but lack essential soft skills. Design. The training team uses ADI to design a leadership training workshop. They outline sessions on communication, conflict resolution, and team management. Learning objectives include improving interpersonal skills and decision-making abilities. Develop. 
Using the design, the team creates presentations, role-playing scenarios, and interactive exercises. They select expert facilitators to lead discussions and activities. Implement. The workshop is conducted over several days. Participants engage in group discussions, practice role-playing scenarios, and receive feedback from facilitators and peers. Evaluate. After the workshop, participants are asked to provide feedback on their learning experience. The training team analyzes the feedback and assesses if the managers apply their newly acquired skills in their leadership roles. In both examples, the ADDIE model is used to systematically design, develop, implement, and evaluate effective learning programs. It ensures that the training aligns with specific needs, engages learners, and leads to measurable improvements in knowledge and skills.